Hello, Virgos. <clears throat> this is you versus them for the 10th through the 18th. This reading is for my Virgos. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Let's see. How did you guys feel about this person or the relationship? How did Virgo feel about this person or the relationship? Five of Pentacles. Oh, you felt like you weren't getting um, out of this relationship what you truly deserved. It wasn't. Um, it wasn't fair. You felt like you were giving way more to this person than they were giving to you. This is Taurus energy here. I think you felt lonely a lot of the time. Hanging man is what they felt about the relationship. That is Pisces energy there. Um, but this is somebody that felt stifled emotionally. I felt like I felt like this person um, they didn't do a lot actually. They did very little, and their emotions were kind of flatlined here. Hmm. <clears throat> What is going on with Virgo currently? What is going on with Virgo currently? We have the Princess of Wands. Hmm. You kind of looking back at that distant Five of Pentacles, and um, I feel like you guys are starting over. Um, I think you've left that behind. That's a chapter in your life that that has been written and read. I feel like. Um, there's something that I see that you're interested in, something new, uh, something that that you um, that you enjoy, or are you trying to find what it is that you really enjoy. Either way, it's like that Five of Pentacles that was then um, that happened, and I'm ready to move on. I feel like a lot of you guys are just ready to get past that and move on because I think this person really, um, uh, this is somebody, the person that you're dealing with that you're thinking about, is someone that um, does not, I don't know if they're capable of giving you all of the emotional support that you need is the thing and I think you felt that I think you felt that um, a lot <clears throat> you have a lot of fiery in energy going on right now that Aries energy it's currently going on with them and then we have the nine of cups <clears throat> this person they feel excuse me there's something that they're feeling happy about I don't feel like this person is involved with anyone I feel like um, they're doing a lot of things very selfish energy I feel um, that makes them feel good in the moment a lot of things whether it's drinking whether it's going out um, it just a lot of things that make them feel good. I feel like this person it, it always feels like the victim. Um, they have this victim mentality, but it almost feel feels like they're the ones that, um, and, and I sometimes hate the word victim, but they're the ones that sometimes victimize. Um, and they may not even know it is a thing. It may have something to do with their childhood. But I do feel like this is somebody that um, feels like they deserve the world, even if they don't put that energy out there. You know, is is that type of person I feel that is um, that you guys are dealing with here? What is influencing Virgo? Four of Cups. Hmm. I feel you guys are looking for love. You're kind of bored. Um, wanting some things to do. Wanting something to get into. Cancer energy. I feel like um, this is an energy where you would love to um, 
have someone that you can share your life with, that you can go to movies with, that you can just sit at home and have dinner with. I feel like you guys are wanting that at this point in your life. Just that chill time. Okay, right now your emotions are very stable. I feel like before they weren't, they were all up in the air, they were all over the place, but um, they, they've kind of leveled out a little bit. But I think that um, you're at a point where you're wanting to extend, but you're leery. You're leery from the things that you've dealt with before. What's influencing this person? What's influencing them? Look at that. Four of Cups. Same things influencing them. I think this person, they didn't do a lot. <laughs> They didn't give you the emotional support that you needed, that you wanted. Um, you almost at times felt like you were begging for attention. I feel like that is them right now. It's like they're begging for attention. They want what they had so very badly. They want it back. Um, they want you to just offer that love again that you once did. I feel like that is long gone because I see you looking out in the distance for something new, something different, but you still kind of go back to that time with this person where you felt um, like they weren't giving to you, that they uh, rejected you, that they hurt your feelings, they didn't spend enough time with you. You still reflect on that, but... I don't see you going back there. I think you miss um, the body at this point is what I'm getting from you. You miss the body of this person, not the physical like, oh, they look good body. I mean their presence. And I think that's what you miss. You miss that whole family dynamic, um, being in a relationship. I feel like this person on the other hand is missing what you brought to the table and I feel like this person knows that they took you for granted and if only they could go back in time is where they're at okay to make things right to um, let you know exactly what you meant to them and that <clears throat> yeah they may have acted this way but um, they would appreciate you more if they could okay What's coming in for Virgos? Death. I think your dry spell is over. I think you guys are ready to um, take a leap of faith. I think you've transformed a lot since uh, this relationship with this person. And you are ready to uh, move on. Start over. This is done. Like I said, this is a chapter in your life that has been written and read, and you're ready to move on. Okay, Scorpio energy there. <clears throat> What's coming in for them? Ten of Wands. Look at that. They just want this hurt, this pain, this conflict, this struggle to be over. They want this struggle to be over. Sagittarius energy there. They're carrying a lot of weight on them right now. All of the conflict, all of the fighting, all of the arguing, um, just the disconnect from you in general. Anything that you guys gone have gone through, um, they're carrying that now. And they may not have carried that before they before before they probably projected a lot of things onto you, but. Mm -mm. They have no choice right now but to carry it. Okay, they can't project that anymore onto you. They want to just like just throw all this shit down and get it off of them, um, deal with it, and so it can like fall off and fall to the wayside because they want to start over. It's weighing them down. Okay. <clears throat> what can Virgo expect from this person? What can Virgo expect from this person? Seven of Swords. They're always going to be that person that um, looks out for them. 
not for you takes you for granted deceives you lies to you cheats on you whatever that means for you that seven of swords energy they're always going to be that person that's what you can expect from them so keep that in mind that's aquarius energy there okay this person is about themselves what can this person expect from virgo Two of Pentacles to handle their business, okay, to make themselves a priority. This is what they can expect from you that you'll never just be holding a torch for them, only them, and disregarding yourself. You are making moves in your life for you. Okay, I think your balls are up in the air. I think that that's Capricorn energy there. I feel like um, you guys have a lot going on outside of this person and that you're managing your expectations. You're managing your emotions. You're managing your thoughts. I feel like you're just doing you at this point. Okay, so that is what I have for you, and I'll be speaking with you guys soon. Namaste.